people, my people, I have to ask you, when is too much hazelnuts ever enough? I love hazelnuts. And what I really love is actually drinking them. And the number one gin liqueur on the world is um, Frangelica. It's as simple as that. It's named supposedly after a Franciscan monk, Fra, or Father Angelico. <clears throat> he lived in the shadow of the Italian Alps, which um, the label says it's Sesto Gian San Giovanni, and that, it turns out, is actually a northern suburb of Naples. This is the most popular or the most abundant gin liqueur on the planet. I've been drinking this since, uh, well, this was a brunette, and that was a frightening long time ago. It hits the market in 1978. It is the classic, it's the go-to, it's the benchmark of gin liqueurs. Um, the question is, is it as good as its market share suggests? And is it as good? Well, it, is it good? That's the question I'm going to answer today. Is it good? I've already poured myself a gentle bit because this is review number three. There is no sound of happiness because it's a screwed up. So I'm busy screwing it. I'm going to unscrewing it now on camera. No sound of happiness. Smell of happiness as this warms up in my office on a it's about 20 degrees it Says oh, yeah hazelnuts The write-up which is in hopefully in three languages says that there's a hazelnut distillate There's ethyl alcohol. There's a couple of caramel flavorings adding into it. It's not a pure product But it is that benchmark when it comes to hazelnut liqueurs um, It's cheap this set me back about 50 or 60 dollars for a big bottle and there's plenty of it. It's 20% um, volume and it's going to make a lethal ingredient in a cocktail later. I'm going to start messing with the cocktails a bit more and yeah, this will nail it. So the smell of happiness says definitely lots of hazelnuts went into this baby. Let's try the taste of happiness. It's very smooth. It is very full bodied. Um, <clears throat> the 20% means that there's a pleasant burn without being overpowering. And I'm sipping this neat. There are lots of other ways to uh, go drinking it and you can go and see the, the, the company and cocktails that go with this because this is going to get done at least two or three different ways. And I think all of them will be delicious. So this is Frangelico. It's available pretty well anywhere. It's almost the definition of Italian liqueurs. It's the certainly the benchmark for hazelnut liqueurs. But that's all why each and that's when you can drink them and be happy because they're 20% per volume with alcohol. So this is Frangelico. It's the only bottle I know of that's supposedly looking like a Franciscan monk. Um, and if the booze is this good in Italy. I can't wait to get there next year. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, share, like, and just go and have those cocktails that are going to be coming up soon. They're going to be wicked. Got to do them. Catch ya. Subscribe, share.